Welcome to Ham Radio K0PIR. Please visit my website www.k0pir.us. I have quite a few articles on the ICOM 7300. Installing WSJTX on the Mac is a little bit different than a PC. On a PC you just download it, double click and it does the rest. We have to uh, edit the shared memory on the Mac for WSJTX to actually work. I'll put the download link below, but it's at sourceforge.net, and uh, this, this is the download link, we'll click on it, and of course it tells us it'll start shortly. It goes to the downloads, and once completed, You'll see the disk image, just click on it, it pops up, click on it again, click agree, and when you do that you'll notice that it puts an icon up here on your desktop. And what I did was I just started out by dragging the program into the applications folder. And of course I already have it in there, so I'm just going to click stop. The next thing you want to do is drag the readme file to the desktop and drag this system control configuration file to the desktop. We can close that now. Let's open up the readme file. And you can read this, but basically what we want to do is go into uh, the Finder in Applications and Utilities and open up a terminal, double click on it, and if you haven't had WSJTX installed, then you might as well move on to this part but if you have it's got a little bit of information up here we can check it we can check the shared memory by copying and pasting this command paste it in there and then just hit enter and you can see I already have the correct amount of memory but yours will probably show up as something else. That's okay, we want to move on to these commands and just copy them, make sure you don't click cut I've done that a few times and paste. Hit enter, ask you for your password and that's all it does copy and paste the next command then hit enter on the keyboard oops hit enter on the keyboard and see I, uh, I messed something up there but I can do an undo and fix it and then this last command copy paste hit return and that's it next part is real important reboot your Mac if you don't do that the changes won't uh, take place when you reboot the Mac you can go back to the terminal window and enter uh, this command again to make sure that it worked and you should see uh, this number for the maximum memory shared memory and uh, the next uh, information it gives you here is you want to go into the applications 
and the uh, audio MIDI setup double click on it and for that USB audio codec this is what we installed when we installed MacLogger DX and I have the one for the ICOM 7300 or this U USB audio codec uh, is on that download page at MacLogger DX and you want to change the uh, if it is uh, different you want to change it to uh, 48k that should do it you can exit out of that and close these those can be drugged to the trash and uh, this icon up here can be drugged to the trash you'll have uh, your WSJTX and your applications and uh, where is it there it is then at the bottom you can drag it and put it on your dock if you want to that's where I have it you can open it up and of course mine's already set up but the first place you want to go is the preferences and you can get the audio set up that USB audio codec and then the radio and we're using the ICOM 7300 choose the right serial port and it is uh, the device slash CU that you want to use dot SLAB you don't want to choose the other one because it doesn't work. If you have your radio set up like mine in the menu, uh, you're using 1152. I've used CAT and RTS for push to talk, both work. For mode, uh, this last one, data packet. And then for split operation, I use rig. And you can hit test, to, test CAT and uh, test push to talk, and it should key your radio. Click OK and you'll see your waterfall going and you're ready to go. You can go back in and do some fine tuning, but you should start uh, decoding right away. That's it for the installation. Uh, thanks again. Please uh, visit my website www.k0pir.us. Thanks for watching and remember to please like, subscribe, and share. Best 73 and good DX.